A popular trend on the web right now is one-page scrollable websites, which is what I have here. Uh, this web page, as I scroll down, you can see it's not that dynamic, and I want to have some scroll effects going on using Muse, and it is so easy and a lot of fun, and really just can add a lot uh, to any content that you're working with. In fact, notice that each one of these mountain ranges, including this pillar over here, are all separate images. They're all ping files. So if I want them to move at a different rate, say for instance this pillar, I can open up the scroll effects and then just check that motion box. Okay, And you're given three different areas. The initial motion, so how fast is it going to go initially? If I want it to be at the speed of the browser, I'll just type in 1. Okay, So it'll move up and down uh, at the speed of the browser. I can actually have it move left and right as well uh, by adding in numbers in there. But it's going to move up and down at this point. Okay, So I can set the initial motion. And uh, then you can say, hey, at a certain point, say when you scroll up, say, you know, 400 pixels, that's when I want the motion to change. Maybe it's going to slow down into position, and that's what's going to happen at that point. In fact, if we take a look at that simple change that I just did, there's my pillar. As I scroll up, it's going to hit 400 pixels. Bam, and you can see how it doesn't scroll anymore, but we get that depth going on. So that's what I want. Let's take it to the next level now. Selecting that image. Actually, my initial position just being zero. I want this to move kind of fast. Okay, so things in the foreground are going to move faster than things in the background or midground. So, even in the case of this mountain range, yes, add a motion effect. It's going to go slower. Maybe we will have it go uh, just slightly um, less than the browser speed. That mountain range back there adding that motion as well. This is going to go even slower, and then even the sky back here, if I select it, turning on that motion, I can have it go really slow if I want to. And check this out. Uh, for this text right here, maybe I don't want it to move at all. I can do that. In fact, if I want to pin it, I can use this pin right one location. So that's another way to pin objects. You can even pin things as a footer as well. But those simple changes is really all I'm doing. In fact, for this menu up at the top, I'll pin that as well. With that done, saving this, running it in a browser. Okay, as I scroll down, you can see you get that nice depth. Okay. Love that depth, and look, you have that kind of going behind the mountain range. Notice how this is pinned at the top, and that's the sort of effect that I want. And you can see this final site. Uh, not only can you move objects, but you can add edge animate animations. So as I scroll down, look at those butterflies flying away as I scroll down. The Slovenia text sliding across as I scroll down. You have that nice depth. Another thing is opacity, which I'm going to show in a second. As I scroll down, I'm playing with opacity. So as you scroll down, uh, one object is more opaque as the other one is more transparent. Scrolling down further, and lastly, you also have uh, scroll effects for galleries right here. And that's what's happening. It's scrolling through different galleries. How is all that done? It's basically those same principles right in here using these different features. Adjusting based on opacity, just like you did uh, the motion. So if you wanted something to fade in and fade out, just turn that on. Have it at 100% initially. Not only that, if you wanted to change your slideshow uh, based on the scroll position, as well as the edge animate piece based on your scroll position. So I've just added the opacity, and that's all I'm going to do at this point. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do as I scroll down that text starts to fade away even when it's behind the mountains. So check it out today. I love Muse, love what it can do, giving me that creative freedom that I personally want for my web projects.